How's it going, everyone? So I have made some minor changes from the original. Number one is these. I wasn't able to get the original um, buck converter. So this is actually a boost converter. So if you're running 12 volts to 20 volts, uh, that would be ideal for this unit. Uh, this will boost it up to the 30 volts that this can handle. Great. Uh, everything is functioning now. I've made some more changes to this system um, after testing them and uh, I've separated off this coil so that it's a, 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 its own independent coil. It's out of the equation for now. We're going to use it later so we're not using that. It's coming in. It's going out. It's getting full wave bridge rectified. I doubled up on the diodes, hooked them all up. Uh, we're all good that way. So now we're getting uh, prime charging. I added a neon gap with four neons across here to add a second earth ground to increase the frequency. Uh, the disruptive discharge stage two is hooked up with a small capacitance of about, um, I think it was 23 nanofarads. It's really small. Um, uh, just a coil with a bunch of turns on it, another coil with a few turns on it. I've got a neon across here just to show you visibly uh, what is going on, on in this core down the wire. No earth ground on that. All right, so we'll turn it on. So you can see the neons are lit with the earth ground connection, the second earth ground, and uh, everything's functioning good. And we have managed to get the frequency with this set up the way it is to about 140 kilohertz. You can see the disruptive discharge coming out of that. It's really kind of neat. It's quite a neat field there. So uh, I don't know, maybe you want to take that and stick it in between some Don Smith plates or something. That would be kind of a cool uh, different type of uh, arrangement. Not for me. That's not what I'm working on. Anyways, uh, there's the uh, frequency we're running at. This is the improved design of the Stage 1. They're all going to be configured this way. Later on, we'll use this coil either to recharge itself uh, through the resonance here. We'll sneak a little off, rectify it into a cap, low voltage cap back into the source with a very high voltage potential. And um, uh, as high as 157 kilohertz. So uh, I'm hearing some hissing. Uh, it may have a bad connection. Something might be arcing somewhere, some corona or something. Well, that's common. That's common. A little bit of ozone won't kill anybody, right? Probably help the environment. So uh, we're running at about 16 watts, right? So looks good. 140 kilohertz. Ciao.